Get ready to read a story from the PRC Saltillo AAC Literacy Planner, Let's Play. This month's story is called Find Fergus. In this Literacy Planner, there are numerous resources to support literacy instruction with your AAC learners. You'll find materials that support literacy and learning with 12 different books. Review the monthly lesson plans that list target words, sample objectives, and ways to use these words when you provide shared reading, play games, create sensory, writing, and craft projects. You'll love learning how our ambassadors, who use our speech generating devices or apps, spend their leisure time. So let's get ready to read. Download a smart chart that supports your vocabulary. A smart chart shows the symbol sequence for the target words in the vocabularies. Use it as a tool to help communication partners know where to find words in the vocabulary. You can download a pre-made smart chart for Unity, Lamp Words for Life, and Word Power for each monthly set of target words. These smart charts were made using the smart chart generator on the AAC Language Lab. You'll find the monthly downloads by going to printrom.com, caregiver resources, and activities. From here, look for the tab that says 2024 Planner Supports. Select that tab and you'll find the smart charts, the social skills support set, and the monthly activities to download. The target words for this story are he, find, hide, try, wear, and bear. Once you have your smart chart, you're ready for a picture walk. Help your AAC reader use the images in the story and any bold or large text on the pages to predict what the story will be about and set a reason for reading the story. Flip through the pages and point out any new or unusual words that your learner may not know. Feel free to stop the video anytime to teach and model target words as well as make comments and connections between what your AAC reader says and the story. The title of this story is Find Fergus and it was written by Mike Bolt. I see a bear wearing some glasses. What do you think this story will be about? Let's take a picture walk and learn more about this story. There's the bear. There he is again. There's the bear again. I think this book is going to be about a bear named Fergus. Let's read it and find out. Find Fergus. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here we come. The list of things to find. 1. Fergus, a bear who looks like this. 2. Just Fergus. So we're supposed to find a bear named Fergus. I wonder where he is. Let's go find Fergus. He's hiding on the next page. Fergus the bear is going to hide from us. We will have to try to find him. Fergus, we already found you. That was too easy. Try hiding again. He was so easy to find. Let's see if he can try to find a better hiding spot. I wonder where he'll hide next. That was easy as well. Is there something you can hide behind? What do you see that he could hide behind? Oh, Fergus, you're not very good at this, but that's okay. We're going to help you. Start by hiding in a crowd. There's Fergus. 
He is very easy to see. He needs help trying to find a better place to hide. A crowd is more than three, Fergus. Fergus did try to hide again, but it's very easy to find a bear in a small group. I wonder where he'll hide next. That's definitely a crowd. Okay, now think bigger. Look at how much bigger the word bigger is than the other words. That means the word bigger is important to the story. Did you find Fergus? I wonder where he will try to hide next. It's hard for a bear to hide. Too big. Did you find the bear? Why was he so easy to find? Try again, Fergus. Where do you think he should hide? That's the right size, but you're not a moose. See how the word not is in bigger letters? It's important to the story. Did you find Fergus yet? He's the same color as the other animals but he's pretty easy to find. What do you think he should do? Let's see if he can try again. Still not a moose, Fergus. Try bears. Ooh, where is he? He is so funny, he put tree branches on his head to look like a moose with antlers. But we could still find him. Do you think he will try to hide with some bears? How about not polar bears? The word not is a lot bigger than the other words. What does that mean? He did not find a good place to hide. Where is he hiding? Why do you think it's so easy to find him? Let's give Fergus another chance to try and hide. Fergus, that's much better. Wait, you're not done yet? Okay, we'll find you one last time. Wow, he found a much better place to hide this time. Where is he? I found him. He's wearing glasses. One minute, please. I see you're not quite ready. We'll do a countdown while you find a great spot to hide. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here we come. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's go find that bear. Oh, wow. Way to go, Fergus. Uh, Fergus? Where are you? Fergus! He finally found a great place to hide. Fergus is not the only bear in this picture. Where is he? I found Fergus. There he is, wearing his glasses. What a fantastic place to hide. See, Fergus, you just needed a little practice. Now you're great at hiding. Um, Fergus, where are you going with that marker? So where do you think he's going? Fergus's list of other things to find. There are a whole lot of things on this list. If you want, you can go back into the story and see if you can find them. Found you, Fergus. Now go hide in this book so we can come find you. The end.